hey youtube welcome back to my channel i am back with a new video and today's video is about my relationship with religion ready here we go Okay, so I am a Christian. However, I have a newfound relationship with God and I no longer subscribe to religion or the church. So just to give you some background, I basically grew up in the christian baptist religion my life was dedicated to christ at a very young age and i also went to a catholic school from kindergarten to eighth grade so there was religion almost all the time so i was going to catholic school monday through friday and then on sundays i was going to a baptist church so i followed rules and regulations for most of my life everything down to how i spoke how i dressed what i did was based upon if god will love me if god will accept me if god will hate me if i do this like i literally thought about god 24 7 in everything that i did everything that i said I took everything that a teacher or a pastor would say as is. Um, I had questions, but you know, you don't question the pastor or the nun or the teacher. You just take it for as it is. Yeah, I had a lot of beliefs that I truly did not believe in. I felt like I was only believing in them because that's what the church said to do, honestly. I had so many questions about certain beliefs of, well, well, why are we believing in this? This sounds not good. But again, you don't question the pastor or the teacher or the preacher about any of that. It was tough because literally when I said everything that I did was dependent on if God will hate me, literally everything. And it led to my depression because I was trying to be so perfect for God. Always hearing in church, you know, you should be too blessed to be stressed. You have food on your table, clothes on your back, a roof over your head. You have a family that loves you, two loving parents. You should not be stressed or complaining or depressed or sad. Look at all the things that God has provided for you. You should be grateful that he has brought you into this world. So anytime I felt sad or depressed, I would beat myself up for it because I would say, well, God does not like that you're sad. God does not like that you're depressed. You shouldn't be depressed. Look around you. You're ungrateful because you're sad today. You're ungrateful because you're depressed today. So I never actually worked through my emotions because I would always go back to pray about it, be grateful, God brought you here. You should be just appreciative that God has even brought you on this earth. I was so attached to not disappointing God that anytime I sinned or made any type of mistake, I was so hard on myself because God is watching me and I'm not being the best person that I can be. I'm not being Christ-like or godly when I fail this test or I say this curse word. It was stressful. Rules that I have to follow and I really don't understand why and nobody's really telling me. They're just putting the fear of God in me. I went through life fearful. I definitely feared God, but it was to the point where I wasn't actually living my life and I wasn't, I didn't feel free. I felt restrained. When I hit rock bottom in 2016 and prayer wasn't working, going to church wasn't working, I realized that I have to do something different because I literally was getting ready to not be here anymore. Therapy gave me the freedom to question my own anxiety, 
work through my depression and my suicidal thoughts and my sadness it gave me the opportunity to ask more questions and get more answers than just don't do it because god will hate you i wasn't living my life for me i was living my life for the fear of god and not really of god if that makes sense i had to build myself up in a way that made me proud and i started to realize that a lot of the beliefs that i had weren't good wait a minute i don't like this rule i don't have to follow this regulation this doesn't seem like this is of god this seems like this is of man and i don't appreciate this i realized after going to therapy that i have a choice now i can take the good parts of church which for me is the singing and the dancing and the celebrating but I can leave those misogynistic, terrible, homophobic things over there because i that's not who I am and that's not what I think God is. And I feel like there are a lot of rules and regulations, again, that are from man and not from God. So I no longer subscribe to them. Hope that this video helps somebody who may be going through a tough time and like me, was trying to find their way to God, but it wasn't working the way that man told you it was going to work, I just want you to know that you're not by yourself. I no longer subscribe to religion. I have a relationship with God, a newfound relationship with God that does not involve me discriminating and judging other people for their ways. It's okay to take a step back from the religion that you were born and raised on and say, hey, wait a minute, this is not okay with me. I need to do more research. And so I speak to God in my own way. I speak to the universe in my own way. I, I believe in my own way and I feel so much better. I feel free to, to be grateful for everything I am, but also know that God accepts me for who I am, good, bad, or indifferent. God still accepts me when I'm sad. God still accepts me when I'm depressed. And it's okay because every day can't be full of sunshine and rainbows. You also got to have rain. Um, two things can be true. You can be grateful for the life that God has provided for you. But you can also be sad. Because maybe you had a bad day in that life that God provided for you. I mean, look around us. We're in the middle of a pandemic. You're allowed to have those sad days. So I hope watching this video, you feel better about the fact that you can have both happy and sad emotions. So that is my journey through religion. I appreciate my family and friends who have come with me along this journey. I am so much happier now at this point in my life. And so, yes. I also wanna put a disclaimer, I don't want to offend anybody's religion this is just my own experience everybody's experience with religion is completely different but I just want to put that disclaimer out that I am in no way shape or form trying to disrespect anybody's religion so that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe all the stuff that everyone else asks you to do on YouTube please comment below and let me know your experiences with religion and we can chat in the comment section Thank you again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace.